wonderful 4th of July weekend. I hope you're having a great time and um, firing up those barbecues and getting ready for, for a fantastic celebration. My favorite holiday, my favorite holiday, my, my, my favorite day. Uh, I can't think of anything more glorious to celebrate than the founding of this country, the, the, the principles of, of freedom, of liberty, of individual rights. Uh, they, you know, they animate everything that I do. They animate my whole philosophy of life. And I am an immigrant. I, I, I came to this country because I love these ideas. I came to this country because I believe still that this country is the best manifestation of those ideas. It's slipping away. It's slipping away. And that makes me sad. And one of the reasons I do this radio show, one of the reasons I write books, one of the reasons I travel all over the world speaking is because I want to save this country. I want to save this country as an act of justice to the founders who gave us such a magnificent document and, and, and fought, fought, were willing to give up their life, their, their, their honor, their property. We're putting all of that at stake. And what do we do? We just take it all for granted. We just cruise. Here were men who put their lives on the line for freedom, for liberty. Here were men who put their lives on the line for philosophical idea, for individual rights, for the right of the individual to own his own life, to, to live his own life as he saw fit in pursuit of his own values, to, to, be, to, to, to create, they put their li lives on the line to create a country that left us free to pursue our happiness. What a noble cause. What a noble cause. What do we do? And we're slipping away into mediocrity, we're slipping away into becoming another France or Germany or Sweden. America's losing what it means to be America, right? It used to be that if you lost your job in Ohio, you didn't sit around on your butt waiting, waiting for the government to bail you out. You didn't elect a president who promised to bring you jobs to Ohio. You got in your car and you went looking for a job. And if that job was across the country, you went across the country. I mean, that's what this country is about. You took responsibility for yourself. You took advantage of the freedom we have in this country and you made something of your life. But today, so many Americans feel entitled. We want health care. We have pre-existing conditions, take care of us. Instead of standing up on their own feet, instead of living their lives for themselves. They, you know, become dependent, entitled on everybody else. Exact opposite, exact opposite of, of, of the vision of the founders had for this country and exact opposite of the way Americans behaved in the 19th century. You know, this country was created not through entitlement, but by the hard work of individuals taking responsibility, full responsibility, for their own lives. Too many Americans have abandoned that. Too many Americans that's gone. And until we resurrect that spirit of personal responsibility, of independence, there's really no hope. All right, I don't want to end on a, on a, on a, on a negative note. So, you know, let's just remember, let's use the 4th of July to recommit ourselves to the fight, to the fight for individualism, to the fight for freedom, to the fight for individual rights, to the fight for America. We're losing America. America's lost. We need to rediscover it. We need to teach Americans about what America is. Today, Americans don't know what America is. It's incumbent on all of us who do know to teach them. And as I mentioned earlier, the Founding Fathers on the 4th of July basically signed away their lives, their property, their sacred honor in the cause of liberty, in the cause of freedom. What are we willing to do? Are we willing to do any less than what they were willing to do? We don't have to take up arms now. But what we need to do is speak, speak, speak. So go out there and speak for America. You're listening to the Iran Book Show. Happy 4th of July.